San Francisco was a great place to go. Everybody loved going to San Francisco. They didn't have to advertise, but video of rampant shoplifting and open air drug markets, even national coverage of a mass shooting that wounded nine in the city's historic mission district over the weekend, don't really encourage those taking family vacations. And there is less to do than ever. Nordstrom's, Whole Foods, Saks Off Fifth, Anthropology, Banana Republic, Old Navy, and Office Depot, among many, many others, have all made the decision to abandon their downtown locations. John Dennis is here, chairman of the San Francisco Republican Party. John, it's good to see you. Thank you. I, I think about this, right, an old line from my dad, nothing kills a bad product faster than good advertising. We're going to play, play a little bit of the bite and then get you to react. Take a listen. All right, it looks fantastic, and people should want to go to San Francisco. I used to love going. Uh, how do you fix San Francisco before everybody shows up and then says, hey, look, I've been, and it didn't work? Well, I'm not a fan of that commercial, but, I mean, San Francisco was a place where, you know, it sold itself. Anybody who came here went home and raved to all their friends and family, you got to go to this place. Now, anybody who comes here goes back and says, you got to stay away from this place. It's uh, scary, dangerous, unappealing, depressing. And uh, what's really bad about all this, Leland, is that, you know, for, for recreational tourists, even for the, for the conventions, uh, most of those hotels are right next to the area that's the worst, the Tenderloin section, within a block of the Hilton Hotel, which was just turned back to the bank, is the, 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 the center, the uh, epicenter of the homeless uh, street drug addiction problem. So other cities, they keep it away from, you know, from the tourist areas. I'm afraid we don't have that luxury here in San Francisco. All right. So how do you turn this around? How do you fix San Francisco to get it back to what it was? Well, uh, either people who have never enforced the rules have got to start enforcing the rules. Or we've got to put the grown-ups in charge. Uh, we have a problem that is actually pretty straightforward. It's just a question of enforcing the rules. And uh, you and I may have talked about this before, but we have a participation trophy generation that refuses to do that. Now, having said that, we are facing now, we have about 60 million square feet of uh, commercial real estate in San Francisco. Oh, about 30% of it is vacant now. That number's probably going to climb to 50% by the end of the year. Uh, 75% is out of question. And eventually, um, that downturn is going to affect jobs and then residential real estate prices. And even the, the, the hardiest liberal, the hardiest progressive, is going to push back against the policies that are ruining this city. So ultimately, I think that's where this bottoms out. We're probably a little bit away from that, maybe a year to 18 months. Year, year to 18 months is a long time, especially if you, you own a house there and you're, you're watching property values plummet. J just in the meantime, though, I, I, I'm watching this ad. Who is it going to bring to San Francisco? Who is the target right now of, of you people you want to have come, come visit? And is there anything you can tell them to get them to come? Well, that's part of the problem of sort of the progressive approach to politics and Life in general is that they don't they, they really focus more on sort of bullying people into doing things as opposed to appealing people and attracting people uh, to you know to come to a place so their muscle is pretty atrophied in terms of appeal and attraction right now so I think um, I think they've got to take a, you know a couple more steps at this but you're absolutely right there is no you know target audience for this uh, for this particular ad and um, they need to start thinking about who they can really bring back uh, in terms of the uh, the conventions that's that's really sort of the, the the start. They've got to go back and do some work within the uh, within the business community. Yeah, it's it's amazing. You read the Wall Street Journal headline: Hotel owners start to write off San Francisco as business nosedives, where it used to be this enormous, thriving, wonderful place um, to to go visit. All right, it's good to see you, John. Thank Leland, you. Leland, today. Look, sorry, last thing before you go. Hey, Leland, before yeah. you go, last thing: Westfield Mall is going back to the bank. That was announced today. Another big down, uh, big uh, loss for San wow. Francisco today. That, that, that's saying an awful lot, um, especially if, if you're spending time there. All right, John, thank you very much. Great, great added uh, information. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, 
unbiased coverage.